the fingers what's up bro oh, what's good bro what's good i see one person hold on how do i there we go yeah i was gonna yeah, say yeah, a little get my, yeah. get my zoom stuff you together. see us now you see our pretty faces now yeah i see i see <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right what's I'm up brother i mean i've been seeing you for like the past uh almost feel like the past year I've been yeah like yeah following yeah you guys but thank you i yeah, appreciate it appreciate it yeah appreciate it, yeah, appreciate it. That's, appreciate it. that's what's up Last two contests specifically, was, it was tough, bro. I, mean, <laughs> I was like, oh man, I know he gotta be like. Get <laughs> man, I, I'll, I'll be watching the uh, the YouTube where y'all voting and judging, and yeah. y'all actually be getting me on them because I'm like, man, who's gonna get it? Then then it goes up. It's like, all right, it's between the fingers, and it's like one other person, two other people. And then it's like next episode. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> like uh, it, it remind me of you know those TV shows like uh, like Fresh Prince of Bel Air Martin, where it would be one of those long episodes. Yeah. And at the end, it'd be like to be continued. To be continued. Like, What's gonna happen next week? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the good part <laughs> cuts out. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Wait for that next. Uh, gotta, keep the, gotta keep the audience yeah. engaged. You know yep. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I but I definitely appreciate it. Appreciate everything yeah. you all are doing, man. Man, thank we you, appreciate you. you. We appreciate you guys, man, for supporting yeah. us and you know being a part of the being a part of the movement man for real man. yep definitely. We, definitely can, we can't do it without without you guys either man so yeah you know that, right. that, it's been right. it's been great to be be a part of this and you know hopefully we're gonna well we're gonna continue to keep growing it for sure definitely, definitely, definitely. Gonna continue, yeah. continue to keep growing it uh before we get into it though we always do this with our guests your top uh -oh. five favorite ios apps brother what's your top Ooh. five I, I definitely gotta go beat maker three um that's my main mm -hmm. DAW. Uh, I, I did start using Cubasis. I use Cubasis 2. Um, I, I got Cubasis 3 now, so starting to get into that more. But be maker 3. Um, new Tico, you might have seen some post effect tricks right now. For me, it's like, people have been using it for years, but for me, that's like my new Tico for, mm -hmm. for uh, samples and, and drums. Um, so I got to put that up there. Uh, top five. Three more to go. I have so many. I have probably like hundreds of apps. I need to delete a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> Beat Maker 3, Effectrix. Um, I'm going to give you a developer, FAC, uh, Fred Anton Corvest. Um, I can't oh, pick know. one app. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't mm -hmm. pick one, but all his stuff. He just released one. I'll give you one. He that just Alteza released one. Crazy, Alteza. Right? Yeah. Beautiful. Alteza. <laughs> new, that's Alteza and Effectrix, my new cheat code. This It's like a reverb. I don't know if it's a reverb, delay, but. You throw that on anything, and it's just like taking my stuff to like another planet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let me see. Uh, you know what? I got the iPad right here. I'm about to roll through them. Um, I'm gonna open up a session and find out like the last three. Um, I want to say uh, D1. Um, I've been having trouble with it lately, but Audio Kit. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Everyone has. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. been shutting down my sessions, but I still find the sound. So what I've been doing is I find the sound in it, and then. Um, Record it to audio and then use it like that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But D1, Synth One is going to be up there when they make it AUV3. Um, and plus, that's a free app, has a uh, dope, incredible sounds. Right now, it's just mm -hmm. um, Interrap Audio. Uh, so I'll go with that one. Um, uh, yeah, it's hard to pick. Anything Clev Grand, I can give you five developers. Uh, anything Clev Grand. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I, I like their Lux app right now. Um, it's a new sort of like compression type thing. Um, I've been trying to get into that Lux, man. Like it's, it's, you can't you can't max you can't max it out. So what I found is like that twenty five percent is sort of like the sweet spot. Um, but I'm, it's it's something. I, yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> you like nah. Cheese. How, much, how much was it again? You do you remember how much it was? Like the intro. I don't know. Was it, it, I think it was like, like, yeah, it was like five, I think. Yeah. All right, so I ain't so mad, but like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I, I know, I know it's like a glue compressor or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, so, like, I, I guess, like, I, I'm still trying to find the, the like, the use. I'm yeah. Trying, yeah, use. Like, like, I, yeah. I, you know, I will put it on like drums or like if I had everything in the bank and BM3, like, you know, but like, yeah, it's, it's, I'm it's still, still not completely sort of sold out. on it. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. But yeah. So, so we'll put that in the maybe columns. I'll give you um, <laughs> tone, tone boosters. Uh, 
anything tone boosters. I love their um, EQ. They, they almost rival Fab Filter stuff because Fab Filter, mm-hmm. you got to sort of be willing mm-hmm. to invest. Um, but if you get go to tone boosters, they have some comparable plugins for like maybe five to ten dollars. Um, mm-hmm. And I use I use Morphin a lot um, on my master channel um, to sort of get uh, is basically a headphone um, yeah, I got simulation. Morphin. Uh, mm-hmm. put that on the master channel um and then i might use the enhancer i'll either go between enhancer or a bark filter to sort of bring up uh the whole mix sort of like a mastering um i actually i actually found out about yeah. bark filter from one of your videos because i see yeah. it in there and i was like yeah. you know me if, if i see if i see, <laughs> you you see it video, you use it. <laughs> man listen i'm pausing i'm, I'm screenshot and i'm like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, uh, it actually i think that was five um so we got yeah, Beatmaker. Yeah. Uh, I think I think it was in there. Some rewind it, and you'll you'll find. I'm about to say five yeah, you good, you good. But yeah. with that that bark filter though, that um, yeah, I seen another video where someone was like, just throw this bark filter, put on this triple band preset on there, and then adjust like the limiter settings, and then it'll like bring you. And I, I started doing that on my tracks. So I'm like, man, this is crazy. So mm. I only use bark filter for that one that preset, triple band mm. preset. Um, mm. You can adjust some other settings, but it brings your track to like. It's sort of like mastering in, in the iPad where you don't have to go out and use like Grand Finale and and um and some of the other master plugins, which I also mm-hmm. have, but I like to try to keep it all in one. Right. Yeah. And uh and uh, I try to share some with the videos. I think it's actually uh the first competition I did with you all was the first time I did a video um with the iPad, uh, uh like showing me create music and that's yeah. why it was like an hour, hour and a half. And that, that video was amazing. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was the video. Yeah. You, yeah. Because it's you, funny. If you would have heard yeah. the, the, the re- rave reviews you got for, for that video, bro. Yeah, for real, brother. It's, for real. Yeah, it's funny yeah. because yeah. I opened that video, it was like 12.30 at night and I was yeah. exhausted and I opened it and I was like, I'm not going to watch this. I'm just going to look and see, you know, I just like to check yeah, the quality, check see what's sure going on. Yeah. I was stuck on that video for the whole hour <laughs> and change. Yeah, I, was like... I, I told the fellas the next day, I said, yo, he has a knack for doing this shit because Man, I was glued I to his video. Like, <laughs> it's just something like the way you explain and you go yeah. in depth. I was like, yo... I wasn't bored once. I enjoyed yeah, watching yeah, that yeah. whole video. Like, yeah, and he, I appreciate it. Yeah, you even apologized. Like, oh, sorry for so long, but I loved it. I was like, no, this is yeah, awesome it's because like I had like different location. Like, I saw that I was um, I was actually waiting to get to an Apple Store appointment for uh, I think for my phone or something. So I was like, let me let me do a video right quick, and then um, and then I didn't I couldn't finish it that day. So I think the next day I was at work. It was just in the boardroom. And I was like, let me finish it right here. But hey, you get the like, job yeah. done, and that's what yeah, it's all about, yeah. you know? Yeah, because yeah. you know that that first one, so many people didn't give me enough video. So yours yeah. was like a blessing. I was like, oh thank God. <laughs> I didn't have to go back and ask for anything. I was yeah, like, this yeah. shit is amazing. Like <laughs> Yeah. But good I think job. I, I've been able to scale back. Uh, a little bit. I can get them to like 15, 30 minutes now. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but nah, it was very informative. Started. Perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. 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 Especially like for, it's good for people that are new to producing. They'll love that mm-hmm. shit. It's true. Yeah. That's the way true. you go yeah. into each step and everything, they'll love that. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. So actually, I'm, I'm going to do more of those. I've done a lot of the, the lower, um, and that one I actually did in iMovie. And I did a couple of those. I think I did the second one in iMovie. And then I started getting like, Stuff I couldn't figure out in the iMovie, and that's when I um I've always heard of Luma Fusion, but then I just had to make the jump to it because I was like, man, yeah, I, I want to do a little better. bit more professional editing, yeah. do things I can do yeah. faster in Luma Fusion. So I it's way better. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we all use it. We all use it. Yeah, yeah. We love that shit. And that thing is that thing is. I probably use like one percent of it, but it, it yo, I can do what I can do in it. Yeah. Yo, have y'all have y'all seen it? Y'all seen the blend blending modes in uh Luma mm-hmm. Fusion? Mm-hmm. I just saw. I just saw about. I that. just messed yeah. with those yesterday. Oh my yeah. God, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy what you can do with that, man. It's it's yep. insane. Yeah. Did I'm you guys see wild. the overlay? They're making a custom overlay that you put on your keyboard. They're making a keyboard overlay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you do shortcuts short for, and everything. Yeah. I can't wait. Really? Yeah. The, the Luma that. Fusion uh. company is making it. It's dropping Ooh. soon. I can't wait. I posted a picture on my IG, Cheese. Go check it yeah, out. Yeah, I think there. that's where I saw it. I've been Amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Amazing. That would be, yeah. Now, remember, a while ago, I was Game-changer. saying I wanted to buy the Sensil Morph only for the video overlay. Mm, now overlay, I don't have yeah. to. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't. I couldn't drop that four hundred for like for for. Yeah. Uh, nah, uh, and then uh, remember, Jay told us it doesn't even come with an app. You got to like do everything through the computer. It's not worth it then. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I forgot why I fell out of love for it with that joint. But... And you know, side note. J One Star Beats. Shout out to J One Star yeah, Beats J1 who's not Star, here. J One Star J- Beats gave his sensual morph away to a kid in the store that was like That's infatuated bizarre. with it. So yeah, yeah, he gave it away, cheese. Yeah, I don't think you were here for that. He That's gave bizarre. it away. Yeah. He gave it away, bro. Cool. He said bro. the kid was in love with it. He was showing yeah. him how to use it, and he was just like, here. Yeah, I I did the same same thing. Yeah, we both was like, I was like, I would have bought that from you. Are you kidding me? But no, because that's the kind of uh, uh, like spirit you guys have. It's just like, I mean, yeah, I said if it made him feel better, yeah, yeah, you know, um, to win an app is like, I've won so many. Most of the apps I have, I've won um, through contests, or or I wait for them to go on sale. I set up an alert through App Sliced. Um, right. I, see, you know, I love apps. I like life. wait for them to get at least half off. Yeah, um, and then what that's my like jump on it. I've never I told heard you about it. Oh. Apps life. Apps. Apps. Yeah, I told life. you guys about. It. See, they don't listen to me. The fingers. <laughs> they never yeah, listen they, to they, me. I gotta come <laughs> on and be like, "Yep." <laughs> um, I, I be trying to. Hey, I be trying hey, to teach hey, them. Hey, <laughs> 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 I be trying to, you know, but, but no, they don't there's, listen. There's gonna be new people that watch this that don't know. So AppsLife.co. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. a website that you can um, set up alerts for apps, both on like iPad, um, on Macs, maybe yep. on uh, uh, compute PCs and Android. I don't know about that, but iOS and Macs, you can set up an alert for when an app goes on sale and yep. you can set the price. So you can say when it drops below mm-hmm. four ninety nine, and then it'll send you an alert. And you can set up the alerts for email or text or however you Yo, want to know. I wake up every morning and before yeah. I check emails, I check app slice for what's on yep. sale. I yeah. love that place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's that's See, me, I'll, be on, I'll be on the app. Yep. I'll be on the mm-hmm. app store every morning. I, and first thing I do is I, I I go to the app store and I type in AUV three and I type in that's smart unit. too. Yeah. Like yeah. that's this how, is how, easier. That's how I found all the free shit. Yeah, like, I literally. actually didn't know about that until about I think I, I learned about it maybe last year, but then I forgot and that and I just saw it again last week. And someone was like, they posted a video like, yeah, do AUV three and then filter by price and click free. And then all the free stuff shows oh, up. Oh, I didn't think filter. You're yeah. right. I didn't think of that. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Filter. You're right. <laughs> See, so I just... <laughs> you understand? I'll be on it like this every day. And right? and and then, says, open, <laughs> scroll, See, but open, open, app sliced is easier, Cheese. Like, yeah. huh? App slice is easier because what you could do is you could look at the main sales for the day or you could just go to yep. genre and pick music and see yep. in there. And that's how I find everything. Yep. It, it'll take you like 10 minutes to set it up. Um, definitely um, check it out. Dragonfly Bri is ready, so I'm gonna invite him in. Yo, have any y'all um, started messing with um, uh, any of y'all mess with AUM? Yeah, yeah. So AUM. Let, me, but... let me tell you about AUM. I, I use it, I see some guys on YouTube that use it and they're recording like incredible stuff with it. They got like MIDI mm-hmm. keyboards going into mm-hmm. it. I use it um, live for uh, church, so yeah. um, okay. I have the uh. It's called a Yamaha BT-01. Uh, it's a Bluetooth, wireless Bluetooth um, keyboard connector yeah. that you put, oh, you, the connect. connector. Okay. you put it into any keyboard that has MIDI out, and then oh, you can connect oh, it to the iPad. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. And there's other companies that have one, but I've got the Yamaha one. Um, so you just plug it into the keyboard, um, and then you can set it up on the iPad. So any keyboard with MIDI out, you can use as a controller for the iPad. Um, mm-hmm. So I use that, and then I go to AUM, and I put in all my sounds. So I have a... a a AUM um, template with like a lot of Pearson stuff because uh, mm-hmm. that's run by gospel musicians. You know, uh, Jamal Hartwell, mm-hmm. he has like a lot of the gospel sounds already built in. Um, I think I have some string sounds from I Symphonic, uh, some horn sounds and things. Um, and I just have a template where I can like fade in and that fade in and out like the sounds as I need them um, of like maybe 10 or 15 tracks. But that's how I use it. And there's some other ways to use it. I just can't get too in depth with it. But okay. it's really great for, for that like live. Um, if you need like a mm-hmm. um, for people that use like a garage band or uh, or main stage, it's sort of like main stage for the iPad. Mm, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So have you have you messed with like the 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 multi out like thing that they got? They've been talking about so that, that's that, that's, that's to it? For, for me. That's probably beyond my uh, <laughs> my um, I got you. my expertise. I've seen the videos on it, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know where it would fit in right now for my workflow. 
Um, yeah, it looks great. The only thing I've seen people yeah. doing you doing with it is using it for side chaining so far. Mm. That's, and and I'm like, all right, well, I can do that and beat maker three. So yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not so much <laughs> like sold on it because I like, yeah because because yeah. I, I I've been looking for a reason to get AUM. <laughs> And, and and I still haven't haven't like it, found one, you know. What I mean? It's still it's, it, it is it can be kind of complicated because I've been messing with yeah. it too with uh, trying to integrate it with Beatmaker Three and some of the other synths mm-hmm. and stuff that I've been mm-hmm. using. And it's it's been tricky. It's yeah, tricky to try yeah. to figure that out, man. I've got yeah. it kind of figured out, but it's it's I don't know. It's still kind of just yeah. And I I don't know. I just can't figure out for me why I would use it with Beatmaker Three. Um, for mm-hmm. me, it's just a separate. Separate yeah. thing. Um, I yeah. do want to try to get out of the whole beat because I feel like I'm in the beat maker three trap. So I'm trying to learn a little bit more about Cubasis, um, Zen Beats, uh, Nano Studio. Uh, I have Oreo Pro, but it's just like beat maker three. I just got my workflow down. I can yeah, do, so I think do what I best. need to do. Every, everybody has yeah. a doll like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dragon. What's up, yo, yo? Dragonfly <laughs> Brian in the building. What's, what's good? good? Man? Yo, what's up, y'all? Happy Saturday. Happy, Happy Saturday, 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 brother. Man. Happy Saturday. Yo, the fingers, what's up, man? Yes, sir. Glad you oh, joined. Yeah, really man. awesome, um, yo, awesome uh, entries to these last couple of battles, man. That stuff was really appreciate impressive. It, yeah. I, I was like, appreciate it. I had it, you man. in the top uh, in a lot of a lot of those um, battles, man. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Definitely, man. Those, those. Uh, you tried to throw me for a loop with that last sample. I think that was um, who made that last one? The last one, I think, that I was made. you. Yeah, yeah. That was you. And you was like, yeah, child, but like. I, um, like I have a history of like music training and music theory, so I can sort of make it make musical sense. But then I hear some of these other guys come up with stuff, and it's like, man, where, how did they do that? And then mm-hmm. I'm watching their videos and I'm learning something from them. I'm like, man, I, I ain't never think of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's yeah, the beauty I, of this. Yeah, I did it all on purpose. I tried to get yeah. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I said it's, it's too easy. It's like Everyone's it's just key. yeah. Yeah, I said I'm, I'm gonna take it off key a little. I'm gonna mess it up <laughs> because the last ones were a little too easy. You know, they were perfect. Yeah, yeah, but, but, um, but man, I, I like the challenge. Um, I'm, I'm always like, and I never was a big uh, sample producer because I played keys, like you know, in church, mm-hmm. grew up playing mm-hmm. keys, um, and music in school. So I was just always like, just making up stuff and just adding beats to it. And it was really mm-hmm. uh, maybe a year or two ago where I started getting um, real heavy with like sampling and, and chopping samples and, and doing it like that. Because I never thought I would be good enough. It was like, man, I, I would hear like the Just Blaze and No ID and Kanye's samples they were doing. I'm like, man, they taking this stuff to a whole other level. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just started doing it more and more. And now it's like uh, the last, uh, I would say last year and a half, two years, I've been mainly doing sample stuff. Yeah, sampling is a, is a, is a whole other art. Like, Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Now, yeah. are you sampling? Let me ask you, are you sampling yourself? Cause like that's that's like so it, it, um I, not yet I got I got a bunch uh, of stuff where um uh, I have a bunch of like keys and melodies and stuff that I have mm-hmm. on, on my hard drive um, I mm-hmm. have a bunch of stuff where I try to make a track out of it with like drums and stuff where I'm like I don't really like the drums so I just take the drums off and like keep the melody mm-hmm. um, so just trying to figure out what to do with those maybe um uh, sharing some packs out with people and just seeing what they come up with uh, yeah, yeah. but I have I haven't I, sampled myself yet. I'll be honest with you, man. Like I, I like um, when I hear other people like take samples that I make, yeah, and they and they mad. flip them, and yeah. like, I'll be like, "Yo, that's crazy!" Because I never thought that it would sound like that. And like, yeah, I started yeah. doing that like probably like about four or five years ago. I just said, I just started sitting down. Do your and I'm own. Like, yo, I'm yeah. just gonna make like like something I would sample. Now I, I don't I like I don't really have the expertise on the keys to make it sound like. Um, like the old vinyl records and stuff like yeah, that, but yeah. I got enough expertise with MIDI and with yeah, music theory to, do, to, yeah. to make it sound make it good. Work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 uh and like literally like some of the some of the like the, the like the 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 closest thing that I've gotten to finding yeah. my own sound is taking some a sample that I created and and going in with that sample and yeah. flipping, flipping it, my own yeah. sound, like chopping chopping it up. And flipping it, and then like, and I had like my boys. That's like, yo, what what sample is that? Like, yo, it's something I made. And I flipped it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. And, and you talk about something that somebody else can't pick up, and like, you know what I mean? People, people be like, oh, I'm gonna remake this. Nah, they're not remaking yeah. you. Flipping yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm yeah, it's like that. I don't know, but it's, it's like the crazy. inception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yo, I'm the telling beat you, within man. the beat. Yeah, 
You know but this you, this so. last pack you sent, I don't know when you when you made it, but this glitch fire um volume one, yeah, that man, those samples. I've been going in on those lately and uh mm-hmm. um, I think I think I posted a couple of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. I, I seen one of you have posted that because I, I I was sick uh like earlier this week, so I ain't been on um, Instagram too much. Yeah. But I know yeah. one you had posted was 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 fucking bananas, man. Yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah. it was on Twitter, yeah. it was on Twitter too, and I was like, Yeah, yeah. you did that, bro. You yeah, 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 and then I, like, I, I yeah, started doing fine. another one. I'll probably share it this weekend because um I, I gotta finish it. But I started doing another one, and then th- just a beat that I started doing with it. I'm like, it sounds weird to me. So for me, it's like either um I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it. I do the stuff that you might hear on the radio. Try to do. I'm not really a trap producer. Um, uh, I like R and B, like you no know, chords and stuff. But um. I'm gonna try to do uh, one of two things: either make the melody sound weird and keep the drums simple, or make the drums sound weird and yeah. keep the melody simple. Um, <clears throat> and then if you try to do both, that's when you start getting into like some. You, it works sometimes. You can start getting mm-hmm. to some like mm-hmm. some weird like jazz territory, and it could work. For, you know, some Kendrick has been in that lane a couple of times. You know, Timberland, Pharrell, they go in that lane sometimes. Um, but I try to do one or the other, um, and then sometimes I might just do both. And, you just have a weird track come out um mm-hmm. and then sometimes it's just like i just got to make something just get it out of my system so that i can get mm-hmm. to the stuff that you know the good stuff um the, the best analogy i forgot where i read is like sometimes when you run water uh i'm in the dc area so like if you in dc when you turn the water on you might get some you know some dirt and stuff coming out the pipes but um <laughs> that has to clear out yeah, you get to the clear water so sometimes yeah. you gotta mm-hmm. get the dirt and stuff through the mm-hmm. pipes so that you get to the stuff that you know that's gonna, um, you know, stuff that you you like doing. So sometimes you just gotta get that out the system. Like, all right, I had to make that track, had to get, get that, that out so that I get, get that rust, get that yeah, rust get off. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a warm up rust off. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but but even some of those beats, because I send stuff out like all the time to people. So even some of those beats, I get them back from like artists and writers, and I'm like, man, why? How did you do that? Like, I didn't like nobody. I didn't think anyone can do anything with this, and they like. There's some people that hear stuff between the notes, and it's like, man, that's crazy. Yeah, man, that's yeah. why you can't. That's why you can't trash trash none of them. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. I mean, I'm gonna save this. Uh, I'll come back maybe another time. Hey, yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially from a writer's perspective, you know, that you know, yeah. finding different pockets of certain pockets and different melodies and beats and stuff like that. You'd be surprised, man. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. really, yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I tell you what. Uh, the first person that, when you said um, you make the beats with uh, like one thing weird on the melody or one thing weird on the drums, but not both. Yeah. I'll tell you like one of the first people, and he's also from here too, um, Timberland, man. Yep. So yep. when I first heard Tim, like Tim's stuff would be real, you know, it had, it had a hop, you know, hip hop appeal to it, but it'd be kind of clean. But then that one yeah. little baby yeah. cryer, that one little weird sound, mm-hmm. that's what yeah. put him on top yeah. of like a lot. That pushed him like 10 steps up on other producers at that time. because Nobody really could understand he was putting that one weird thing that was out of place mm-hmm. yeah. and it set everything yeah. else off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, he, what he produced for Aaliyah, yeah, that one joint, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And, and, and Tim's drums was also, was also like crazy yeah. too. Like I, I remember yeah. I used to have this um. I was in college, like when Timberland was, was heating up, and I had this um this boss drum machine I used to walk around with, and I would just program patterns just to get nice at programming patterns. And I'm listening to Timberland, and I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, nah, I'm like, I'm I'm counting the beats, and I'm getting to like the BPM, and I'm like, nah, like if this is 75, yeah, he's programming yeah. this at 150. Yeah, it's at 150. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah, he's he's he's, he's and, and like to this day, like I yeah. whenever I make a beat, like I, I double my tempo. I remember mm-hmm. asking people, oh, yeah. and they was looking yeah. at me like I was crazy. It was like, yeah. "How you dump your temple? That don't make any sense." I'm like, oh, "All right, yeah, you know what I mean." Yeah, I just let yeah. people, but like, I'm like, "Yeah, dude, like that's you, that's you, to yeah. me. That's what Tim been doing. Like, like because mm-hmm. those those drum machines back that that, that I had back in like '99 and, and 2000, yeah, yeah. they only had six. You only had 16 steps. Or, or, yeah, or, or, I forget yeah. how many steps it was. You, you know what I mean? So oh, you doubled God. it up so you could get that 30 second though, and like and. And shit, when they when they started putting yep. them triplets on, <laughs> yeah, that that was it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, like so. Yeah, yeah. Tim, yeah, Tim is a man. Yeah. yeah, he's like, and um, I remember. I think he's in Miami now, but he was, you know, from Virginia. It's like, man, having that, like, just having that connection. I'm all, I follow even now on Instagram. He's posting stuff every day. I'm like, man, it's like stuff mm-hmm. that's still like, how how is he doing that? <laughs> Um, yeah. And then I actually took a master class uh, that he did, and he he sort of goes into his production process and his team. How um, was that, and, man? 
that I, man, it was probably one of my favorite ones. Um, mm. uh, if you ever heard of masterclass.com, I, I highly mm-hmm. suggest doing it. Um, I've done a couple of them. I, I really started it because I wanted to do the, um, uh, the Hans Zimmer was the first one I did. And then I yeah. think Timberland might've been the second one. Um, I remember you posting about those too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So every time I, I do it, now. Yeah. Um, I think my, my annual license is about to run out. So I'm gonna try to do some more before it runs out. <laughs> but um, <laughs> like even the non-music ones, like I did one with um, Shonda Rhimes. She goes in on how she like creates her shows and content mm. and like characters and just having that aspect. I just did yeah. one with um, Chris Voss, who was an FBI negotiator. Um, and he talks about negotiating um, in business, uh, how he negotiated through some like terrorists and kidnapping mm-hmm. and bank robberies. Um, but he also talks about like business negotiations, salary negotiations, how to negotiate with your kids um, yeah. or yeah, right. relationships. I need that. I've so heard him talk. I've heard him talk one. before. Yeah, he's a, he's yeah, an interesting yeah. Guy, man. Yeah, yeah he's um, on, Chris Voss is his name. Yeah. Um, and so I've been doing. I did the Bob Iger one, who is the head of Disney, and he talks about how he um, sort of is ushering Disney through all these deals with like Pixar and Star Wars. And, and right now the whole Fox thing um, mm-hmm. uh, and, and all that. So it's uh, it's a great platform just to learn from other like um, people like at the top of their game. Um, our daughter plays basketball, so she did the Steph Curry one. He has a mass class on there. Um, and, and she watched that one and, and was sort of was able to absorb some of that. So it's, it's yeah. definitely, I, I definitely suggest it. Um, just do it for a year, do as much as you can in that year. Um, and then maybe if you want to keep it going or take a break for a year, start another year, because they keep adding stuff to it. Um, How much is it uh, per year? I want to say it might be uh, at two, it might be at 199 now, 200 or something for the year. That's it? Um, and that's cheap. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. the individual so, classes were like 90 at one time. Yes, so the way they do it is they make it, is, is you have to do the, the annual, because it's like right. 100 for one class, or you can get access to everything for like 200. It's like, well, I right. might as well just get yeah, 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 just do it all. Um, mm-hmm. But it's definitely, definitely, uh, definitely worth it in my opinion. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, that's what's up, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what got you started into making beats, man? Specifically, um, I know you man. said you grew up playing keys. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. Um, I always play keys in church. Uh, my, I have uh, three sisters and one brother. Um, my mom um had us take piano lessons. I'm the only one that stuck with it. Um, uh, and I'm the youngest. Uh, so uh, um, I'm the youngest of, of, of us all. But I stayed with it through it all and um, ended up going to school for music um, to James Madison University uh, in Virginia as the music industry major. Um, I graduated from there and then went to a local studio in Rockville, Maryland called Omega Studios to sort of learn audio production. Um, and yeah, and at the time, my focus was I just wanted to learn Pro Tools. I wanted to get Pro Tools certification because mm-hmm. that was like the thing. Everyone was like, if you go to mm-hmm. any studio, everyone has Pro Tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, this was the closest uh, place I can go to get that certification, closest to where I live. Um, so I did a year program there and then um, got the certification. Uh, and then all along, I was always making music, making beats. Um, I started off on a Yamaha PSR, like little keyboard. <laughs> um, yeah, one of them jokes. Uh, <laughs> and actually, I started before that. I started on a Yamaha DX7. So one of the musicians from my church had a DX7, and he loaned it to me for like a year. And then um, I was like, uh, I wanted to get my own thing, so I got a PSR. You you can record songs onto like a, a hard disk, um, and mm-hmm. then uh, upgraded from that to a Motif, the original Motif back in 2002. Uh, you could record stuff on like a little smart media card. Um, yeah. Spent college years like making stuff on that, making beats on that. I still have that at home. Um, and take it out when I play out sometimes. And then uh, um, where, I, where I ended up working at after Omega Studios is at National Geographic in D.C., and I was hired there to run their studio. Um, uh, we had a radio show, a music program, um, and, and we had Pro Tools there. So I had the certification, um, and that was uh, I was there for 10, 11 years. I still work there now, but they shut the studio down uh, two years ago. Um, so when they shut that down, I was like, um, man, how am I still going to, like make the music because I was using the Pro Tools systems there um, and uh, I had access to the studio during off hours. Um, so that's when I started making the transition to the iPad. Um, and I had an older iPad then and I was running out of space. So I was just posted, looking online like, all right, how can I like offload some stuff on a little hard drive? And then I came home one day and my wife had the, the 500 gig uh, iPad like to sitting on the bed. And I was like, what's this? She's like, that's your new iPad. You say you need more space. I was like, man. She's a keeper. Oh, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's 
That's dope. So, uh, <laughs> It's probably the best and worst gift she gave me because now it's like <laughs> she wants to watch a movie. I'm like, man, I'm like, I'll finish it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. But yeah, so I'm, I'm You coming to bed? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, just yeah, a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's what I, my main uh, thing has been. I've watched all kinds of videos. Uh, Henny the Business really is the one that sort of got me um, interested in Beatmaker 3 in particular because he started a series a couple of years ago called Adventures in Beatmaking. Mm-hmm. where he'd be going out. He lives in Atlanta, you know, producer for like um, Chris Brown and Lil Wayne, all those people. And he um, he would go out with his family and they'd be going on picnics and stuff and he'd just be posting him making beats and beat maker three. And I'm like, man, this is dope. So I just got it one day. Um, took It's a huge learning curve. Took me some time to sort of figure out a workflow. Um, and I even talked to people that had beat maker two and they're like, man, how do you use that? I was like, well, I never had beat maker two, so I don't mm-hmm. know. They're like, it's totally different. I was like, well, I it never had different. that. So I don't know yeah, how it's different because yeah. this is all yeah. I know. Um, and I know people that won't go to three because they're so focused on two. Mm. Um, so yeah. I'm like, but me making three right now is just because where I'm at. So that's sort of like the, the technological progression. And then um, at home, I use, uh, I have an IK Multimedia iRig Keys IO uh, 25. So it's a small, like, uh, two, three octave keyboard um, that mm. I have to sit next to my bed. I have the iLoud uh, uh, speakers. Um, and have it on like a stand next to the bed. And then I have a music room where I have like the motif keyboard. So if I need more keys, um, I can put the Yamaha, uh, the Bluetooth um, receiver in there and connect to the iPad. Um, but yeah, and it's uh, my, like, I try to take, I usually spend about four hours a day making music. Um, this mm-hmm. is outside of like family. Um, but I, I live in Virginia, work in DC. My commute is an hour and a half each way, uh, sometimes longer. So that's that's already three hours on a bus where I'm just making mm. music. Um, you got a metro? Um, um, uh, it's a bus line called um, Omni Ride. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crystal Washington, man. Oh, okay, yeah. So the MDMV. Uh, uh, yep, yep. Oh, I didn't know that, man. We definitely got to yeah. look up then. Yeah. yeah, bro, for sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm on the PRTC uh, from going from Manassas to DC every day, and that's like off 66. But I'm on the bus, so that's an hour, um, hour and a half. And you cook then, up on the um, bus? Yep, yep. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I'm just sitting there if I'm not asleep. So th- what I try to do is I try to listen to one album a day um, and then uh, try to make at least one beat a day. Um, so uh, usually that's what I'm doing on the bus. And then on top of that, listen to stuff I got to work on for church and things. And then mm-hmm. when I get home, spend time with the family, they usually go to sleep uh, around <clears throat> 9, 10 o'clock. And then I spend a couple more hours, sometimes longer, uh, um, at least two hours, but sometimes I go to like one or two. Sometimes I don't go to sleep at all, just making music. Like, yeah, gotta make you know, every second gotta, count. Gotta feed the beast. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey man, so do you uh do you play with uh, uh any gospel groups or gospel bands or do live shows? Um, so right now, just just at church, um, uh, mm-hmm. with uh, um, right now I'm, I'm playing every Sunday uh, at church. Um, I, I think we just got another musician that's going to be playing, so I can have uh couple Sundays um, where I'm not playing or at least one Sunday where I'm not playing. But right now just playing there with uh um we have five choirs. Um mm-hmm. uh been trying to reach out to uh I, I really like what Kanye um, put together um with with the uh whole Sunday service thing. Um and sort of going back to Timberland, um a lot of people when I when I listen to these albums I I read the credits too. So a lot of people don't read the credits and you start yeah. seeing some names like songwriters, producers. Um Timberland actually produced a lot of the uh the the Kanye Sunday Service albums. Um, so a lot of those tracks you hear are um, from Timberland and his team um, mm-hmm. from those albums. Uh, but like those like the songs that I, they're doing, it's like man, we've been playing these for years. And it's like man, and they just take it to a whole other level. So I would definitely love to play with um, with like those singers and the director he got, the musicians. They're all like incredible. And I think I've said, I've, I made an observation that says something about that too. Like, man, he would go, oh, yeah. you know, that would be perfect, you know. To, yeah, he sure did. He sure and, did. Yeah, yeah, I was like, man, he need to reach yeah. out to Kanye Sunday Service or something, <laughs> man, because you get busy on those keys, bro. Like, yeah, man, I would, man, I would love that, man. I, that'd, yeah. be, that'd be awesome. Hey, did you see the Kenny G one? Yeah. That's yeah. That was that's, crazy, that's, right? Um, that's one of my favorite ones. Right yeah. there. It was, it was a Kenny G and, um, it was Pusha T and yeah, and the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the yep, whole clip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was fire. That's crazy combination. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only Kanye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only you can like pull pull stuff like that together. Mm-hmm. But um, I definitely wanna um like one album I want to listen to is a Justin Bieber one. Um, 
I'm I'm a I'm a I'm actually more of a, I, I like Justin Bieber, but I'm more of a fan of Pooh Bear, who's like his songwriter. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we've been writing with him for years now. Um, and uh, incredible songwriter, dope dude, like um, family oriented guy. Um, just like he hears a thing, and he can just like. He just, he, I think he said he writes like a couple songs a day, but he like can take songs to go another level. So I would love mm-hmm. to work with him. Wow. Um, uh, so I have a list of like people that I would just love to work with. So just trying to, to get up to that level. Yeah, so I, um, I was saying I wasn't tagging them, but um, I would tag the people that made like the samples or the sounds I'm using. So I think um, the next step would be me like posting stuff and just like tagging artists that I, I hear on it, even if, you know, I think it's out of reach. Um, I was doing that a little bit. Like I have a lot of like stuff for Rick Ross um, or that I think he would do great with. Um, and I would tag him and like people on his team or just tag like DJ Khaled and like. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what everybody, everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, tries to inspire. So the thing is what you working on now, man. You cooking up something, man, as far as. Uh... So always making music. I, I think I want to, um, mm-hmm. I keep, I have it in the back of my head because I've done some uh, stuff for like, uh, um some stuff for tv some stuff i've pitched for like uh not like full lift movies but some ideas i have with like strings and stuff and that stuff i mainly do on um i use GarageBand on the computer um just because some of the sound a lot of free sounds that um are available right mm-hmm. now like string sounds there's some incredible sounds for people like spitfire audio um 8do uh center samples um uh where you can get free orchestral sounds that sound really good um at least in my ear um, and I really want some of these guys, uh, companies to start making stuff for the iPad. Cause if I can get some of these Spitfire audio, like their free stuff, uh, they have a free series called labs on the computer. If I can get them to make that stuff for the iPad, man, that would just take, take some of this stuff to a whole nother level. Um, yeah, that'd be so, crazy. Uh, yeah. So I, there's some orchestral plugins I have one here. Um, uh, I symphonic, I have their stuff, uh, they, but that's really an investment. Some of their IAPs are yeah. like $20. Yep. 20 30 dollars um so you really got to be invested but they have some great sounds in there i love um, their shit uh i like pearson has some great string sounds um and they're not as expensive so really i've been defaulting to pearson lately for their like orchestral stuff um horns and strings um so i think i want to release uh either an ep or like a, a two or three track project of just um like string like cues like string stuff uh sort of like emotional um, my favorite piano right now on the iPad is Ravenscroft 275. Um, uh, I don't think that's ever going to change. That's that's like my main go-to piano. Um, mm. uh, that's that's still, I think that might be a $20 app, um, but I got it half price. I got an app slice alert, like Ravenscroft <laughs> on sale. Yeah. Um, so, uh, um, so I think I'm going to do that next, uh, but I'm always making music, uh, messing with these glitch five samples. Um, yeah. another thing I want to tell people that, that watch this, uh, there's a, there's a group on Facebook called, uh, the producer's corner and they release a sample every week where uh, producers can flip it every Saturday. They go live on YouTube or Facebook and then they just listen to it. Um, and, uh, they usually have like 50, 60 entries. So they go for like two hours just listen to people out and you have like 50 people, same sample, different mm. ways. Um, but mm. it's called the producer's corner on Facebook. Um, so definitely check them out. And that's sort of where I started like honing my sampling and chop game. Cause um, like I said, I was just mainly keys and keyboards and just playing in notes and chords and melodies. Just keep, keep making music. Um, I do have an artist I'm working with in Connecticut, never met him. Um, uh, we've talked on the phone, uh, but um, he released a project uh, last month called Black Hollywood. Um, and I have four tracks on there, uh, four or five, and all of them were made on the iPad. Um, I just sent them to him, he did his thing. I think I'll have four or five tracks on there. He released it. It's out now. Um, I'll share it with you guys. It's, uh, um, I think I had the first track and then like the last four or five tracks on there. Um, and all of those were made on the iPad. I send him stuff and he sends them back. His name is Just Moolah, J-U-S-M-U-L-A. And he just like rips, like, he just takes the stuff to the level. So working with him and finding more artists and writers to work with and just keep making music. Do you work with anybody from your church, man? Um, I worked with, uh, so I grew up in the church, been there for, for a while. Um, and we actually had, a uh, we have a couple of, we have some great singers in there, haven't worked with them directly. And we do have a couple of songwriters. One guy, he directs our, um, our men's choir. Uh, he's written a couple of songs. Um, we just haven't recorded anything. I think that would be the next step for, for there is to have a recording, just have something out there, um, with the choir as sort of like a, um, 
Yeah, that's a massive talent pool yeah. right there. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. A, a giant pool of talent right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the church, yeah. Yeah. It's funny because I was thinking about doing a, another type of contest and I had seen okay. you drop something and I was like, you know what? He would probably be the only one that would enter it because I was going to try to have people do, I was going to put out like a little Uh-oh. video Ooh, and have people do a soundtrack to it. Oh, that's hot. And I said, the fingers is going to be the only one to yeah. enter that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that It'd be fun right there. Yeah. yeah, we got yeah. some different ones coming. We got some different ones coming, but I, I was iffy about that one because I don't think I'm going to get a lot. Yeah, y'all got some ideas. Yeah, we got some stuff coming. Definitely do. And the prize is going to be better, if you too. Don't, sometimes it's just... Uh, Sometimes you just do it to try it. Like even these, I enter um, competitions, remix competitions, sampling competitions. I try to do one a week, um, if not more. Um, but I never, I had to get out of the mentality of entering, thinking that I'm going to win, like off, off, you know, yeah, I'm just going to win it. Um, but there's sometimes where it's like, I look at the prizes being offered. It's like, I really, like I, I use contact on the computer, but I have the free version, uh, the, to get the full version, it's like four hundred, five hundred dollars. Um, but I find all these contests online where it's one of the prizes, and I just enter it, hoping I win. But I, I, I can play the pacing game, just enter a bunch of these contests, and then if I win, it's like nice. Now I can get, um, you know, effect tricks, or now I can get con- continue. Uh, <laughs> like I have a list of apps, I can remove it from my app slice, uh, you know, because um, mm, no. I got it now that I want it. Um, so just finding contests, uh, enter one where you can win DDMF, which is a compressor that I really want. It's like twenty five dollars. Like, yeah, um, I have some great compressors already. Already, so I'm not gonna spend that on that. Um, especially the beat, the one in beat maker is is fine. Um, and then there's a lot of stocks stuff in beat maker that like um, that people sort of overlook because you got these great developers making all kinds of incredible apps with the stock stuff in there. Um, yeah. Is like I use a side chain and on, on for my eight oh eight and um, kick drum. Mm-hmm. I use the internal uh, compressor for, to side chain the kick drum to the eight oh eight. So it's, it's the, the EQs and BM3 are, ain't, ain't bad either if you know how to use yeah, them. Yeah, so um, mm-hmm. actually, uh, another plug, um, Marv for Mo Beats, um, mm-hmm. Marvin Gillespie is his name. Um, he released an EQ preset pack um, for um, Beatmaker 3. Uh, one, I don't know the price exactly, but I, I bought it and like I throw that on some of my... Um, he has it, like vocal presets, uh, I think some synth stuff, some kicks, drums, snare drums. Um, and I use that usually just to get a bass line and then um, sort of tweak those settings. But uh, Marfamo Beats, um, I believe he's selling it through his BeatStars page um, where you can buy a Beatmaker 3 EQ uh, sample uh, or the EQ um, preset pack. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going think about dropping one of those now for now. Yeah, I need to too, man. Right. Think about man, that. Uh, right. I, I man, got, those effect tricks. Right now, mm-hmm. me, it's a factory, it's like all day. <laughs> yeah, Word, that's what's up. Yeah, Cheese got that dope effectrix. Man, Cheese got pack. that effectrix. That's free. Preset. Yeah. He got that glitch fire out now. <laughs> Check that out. He got some dope sweatshirts out with that. If you buy a sweatshirt, you get that that sample pack free. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Bri got a, a whole master class for anyone looking to learn how to produce and get into it. Uh, you can take a yeah. whole class with Bri's dope. Scythe got a sample pack coming out soon. Like, um, I got some Luma Fusion presets, templates, titles, all type Ooh, of Luma Fusion man, about to me, drop. Let me, let me get that. Let me get them Luma Fusion. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got some I'm, fire Luma I'm Fusion just stuff. Out about uh, about Lutz, the lookup tables. So I've, I've yeah. been diving into mm-hmm. the whole Luma Fusion thing lately. Yeah, um, I got I'm like some brand dope new to the whole stuff coming there's out. A, um, yeah. If you if you look up, there's a um. There's a there's a site um, I forget what it is, but I have I have found it like uh, for Lutz. a while back. I think they, yeah, they, they yeah. give you like eighty six oh, yeah, yeah. joints. I forgot you know the name too. Yeah, I got yeah. that. I um, just got that got like me? literally last week. Yeah, and then I uh, probably downloaded a um, hundred Lutz. And you, and you know you know you can um, you know you can import fonts into Lumi Fusion too, right? I just found out that uh, like two or three days ago. Yeah, um, it, because there's um, a, um, I actually have a font. Yeah, there's a there's a yeah. uh get so there's this app it's called Font Manager, get that okay. app Font, font manager, manager and and um and then like I, I go to thefont.com and I just be downloading fonts it's like true. crazy yeah. yeah you know what I mean and, and I mean and, and like some of them I, I like I, I'll purchase like if I if I really like your font I'll purchase this shit you purchase you know it what I mean? okay but, you know what I mean but like 
They got a lot of free stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, what yeah. does the app do, Cheese? The font app. Because I go to the font the font.com. I don't know. What would you just say before? You said no, font, font, font manager. manager. I'm downloading font it right now. Oh, what does that do? I don't do? know if you guys... Can so basically... See. Uh-oh. You already did. Yeah. No, nah, I'm on it. Let's I don't you, know. Um, <laughs> <can't see> it. <laughs> it lets you... What, uh, uh, it, it lets man, you download like, the yeah. fonts. And, um, you know you and could it, just download I, them without it, right? Yeah, I know, but it's something, something with Font Manager, it allows you to just open them up and it, and it puts them it's into like like all the different apps that... um that, that Oh, that okay, it's fonts. easier. Oh, that's so, all like, right. So, like, if you got so like, wait, wait, um, wait, what's that called? It's like, free. Font Manager. Yeah, Font yeah, Manager is like free. Like, it's free. You know, like, so, if you got like Affinity uh, Photo or Affinity Designer, you can use the fonts in there as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right like, now, because like that's that's how I make that's how I make all the thumb like the thumbnails for my joint like for my for my uh, yeah for, um, yep. for my videos I use um sometimes I use Luma Fusion to make the make the pictures not for nothing like but uh but if I need to cut something out I use Affinity Photo and then um and then uh you can use the fonts in there and, and do all types of stuff so anybody use Pixelmator? I haven't used that. Yeah, my Man, daughter uh, does. Yeah, it's pretty good. So made it. but I'm not sure if it compares to what you guys are talking about, Don. Okay. What, 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 do a lot of what does it do? It's like a um, like um, like Photoshop. Okay. Oh, my, yeah, my okay. kid uses all of those because she does all the artwork and stuff. So she uses. She has a million things she uses. Yeah. So um, since we're on the topic of artwork, I'm gonna share one more with you all. Um, you probably know about it, but for the those that don't know, because um, when I post music online, sometimes it's just a screenshot of the beat maker or the video, like video or the mm-hmm. timeline playing. Um, and then sometimes, uh, usually I use Wizabelle, um, which is a great oh, app. Oh, yeah, we w- spoke about that. Yeah, did we? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a great yeah. app to just, like, you find an image. Yeah, I love So that. I usually go to um, Unsplash. I usually find an image on Unsplash. Uh, you have royalty-free images. Um, if you just credit whoever posted the image up, um, and then uh, you can bring the image into Wizabelle and then upload your music to Wizabelle. And then you can choose between a certain number of themes uh, and ch- change the colors and things. It's, it's, I think it might be maybe $10 or $11. So if you want to wait for that to go on sale, mm-hmm. um, but it's definitely worth it even if you pay the price of it. Because um, that's what I've been using mainly for posting up um, things with like an image and things online. Shit, what we called it was evil. We said that wrong too. Right? <laughs> I don't know how to, uh, no, no, we 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 just we just, we just, we just be uh, actually I like that there. better. Was evil. We just better. be messing so, up the names. I don't, I don't know. We see bad. We see bad. We see bad. It might be busy bell. Yeah. Visible. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Oh, visible. <laughs> Oh, we're slow as shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, how do you spell it, man? I need to get yeah, this. because I don't <laughs> think you uh print you say the W right over there where they're from. Like where... Busy Bell is that Clef Grand? Like, I think like that's Dirk Dirk yeah, that's Clef Grand. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Biz- yeah. Busy Bell, man. Yeah, yeah Brian, it's W Z I B. Hey, Bell. No. Weezy Bell. Oh, okay. Bell. Weezy Bell. We, yeah, we covered that on the... We did a whole Clev Grand episode. Oh, we butchered have those so names. Much. We yeah. butchered those names so bad. Yeah. yeah. It was bad. Uh, it's the thought yeah. that counts. Yeah. <laughs> and but. Okay, okay. Listen, they was the first developer we covered, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then yeah, we decided exactly. we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> we're gonna stretch <laughs> these shits out. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that's that's a dope well. app. I use that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely, um, between that and LumaFusion, that's sort of how I get my uh, sort of visuals together for for the social media and YouTube and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Yeah. All right. What else we gotta ask the fingers? We covered a lot with the fingers. Yeah, we covered a lot. But we can always do another one down the line. Um, mm-hmm. There's apps. I mean, they release the apps every day. I, I went through a couple of weeks ago and deleted a lot of apps. And then, like, for every app I delete, it's like two more pop up. Yeah. Like, Man, I got to have that one. I got to get yep. Alteza. Mm-hmm. I got to yep. get, you know. Um, that's crazy. Uh, Yo, that I had Alteza? To get, yeah. yeah, that's another Can we level. talk about that, Alteza? <laughs> yeah. So, bro. So, you, I, I spent the last couple of days watching um you on Netflix, right? <clears throat> I don't know if y'all yeah. watch you on yeah, the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, I've seen but, it. So, and so you know the vibe, the whole vibe of the show, right? Mm-hmm. So, it was about two, three in the morning. 
I woke up, had just finished watching the whole the, the both two seasons, right? I'm on vacation right now or whatever from work. And so I hook up the iPad. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna mess with this. I'll tell you, I yeah. just got the email saying, like, yo, your um your pre-order is ready. Yeah. I'm playing with this thing, and like it's it's a shimmer reverb. So like whatever you put through it, it come back sounding like, oh my god, like, like space, yo, I had man. to turn it off and yeah. like turn the lights on in the house. Like so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, if you if you if you're going for that, if you're going for that for that 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 eerie yeah. vibe or something like mm. that, you can put that on there, like. Oh my, yo, that Altezza is fire. That's insane, it's yeah. Fire. So I've been actually can... taking your uh your glitch fire and throwing those some of those into that. Yo, like, I can only imagine. Yeah, that. yeah I might have to, yo. I need to. I put a snare through that the other day. The Altezza. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like you talk about it. The first of the reverb <laughs> tail was crazy. It's over. Here. So it's amazing. What? I bought it, but I didn't play with it yet. Nah, Man, I'm that's that's right. like. Yeah, Play, open it up right now. Open that up, like <laughs> you, like any yeah, sound yeah. you throw in there is going to sound like Halloween. Like yeah. if you, See, that's if you right got, up like, my alley. If you got like if you got like a pipe or something like a, like a pipe and you got like a, a, a Just, wrench, yeah. hit that pipe with that wrench with that Altezza on there. It's a whole nother beast. <laughs> yeah. Take a lot of power. As soon as we finish, um, I, I don't I, think I, so. I, 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 I don't know. I don't even really, I don't even really, really look at it like that. Like I said, I was sitting in the house scaring the shit out of myself for a little while with this. So. <laughs> headphones on? Man, that thing. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Like, I, I was looking behind my back and everything. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, like, depending upon, like, what hits it, it it, it don't, like, because, you know, it, like, the, the way them shimmer reverbs work, they, they like, they change the pitch mm-hmm. of the, um, of the yeah. reflections. And so, like, so I'm hitting it with bass notes. I'm hitting it with high notes, hitting it with mid notes. And when them it bass is- notes hit? It sounds like somebody walking behind you, man. Like click clock. You like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, bro. Not right now. <laughs> how dolo? Like, nah, nah, nah. But nah, yeah. I'll tell you it's crazy. <laughs> and, and especially if like I don't want to give away too much, but turn backwards. Now we gotta cut stuff. this out. You know, that's way too much. That's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a cheat code right too, there. Too much away. Yo, that's a cheat code then, right there. And then because Beatmaker 3 is so ill. So, so yeah. you like, so you, you know, yeah. you use, what's that, um, what's that, Bleach suck, Sidekick? Or whatever. Side chain. Yeah, know, side chain, yeah. Nah, but you know, you know the the uh the Bleece app, Bleece or Bless, B L E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they got the side kick. Yeah, the side yeah, kick. And you can trigger, yeah. you can trigger that. Um, you can trigger the kick with MIDI. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So you can give it whatever. I'm telling you, that joint is is like if you yeah. do you, yeah. you yeah. as a send effect, crazy. The the amount of stuff you could do with it is crazy. Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. Like, that's crazy. Like so, yeah. I, I love it. That's that's free yeah, game so. right there. That's a lot. That's a lot. I can't <laughs> wait to play with it. Yeah. Hey, listen. Can't wait to play with it. Telling you. Dope, dope. Yeah. Telling you, send a snare to it. <laughs> well done. Say nothing else. Well send done. a snare to it. <laughs> get them, get your macros on. Yeah. <laughs> get your macros on. Yeah. 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 You have yeah. to. You have to. You have to. Remember how Just Blaze, um, what was the song? Um, uh, it was like, it was, it was, uh, it was a Rockefeller joint. It had like a male on it, like all, all it was, on it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, like, how they had that snare in it. Yeah. Like, like, like that joint. I'll tell you, like, the snare, I'm, I'm telling you, you get the right snare, you got to, mm-hmm. it can't you, be one of them heavy. Gone. Big big booty snares. It gotta be one of like the like the trap <laughs> snares. It's yeah. be a lot more like eyes in it. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that Al Tesla is I love yo, I love I love shimmer reverbs. I, like before my computer died, I I, I ain't gonna say yeah. I built one, but like I use reason uh, on a computer. So with reason you can take like all everything and like plug it together. So I remember hmm. I first found out about shimmer reverbs by like in this video, and dude was like, "Yo, this is how you build this in the reverb and reason." So they had the reverb going into a delay, and it was like kind of feeding back on itself into the, um, something else. Like I think the um, uh, the pitch shifter, and so the pitch shifter was going on it, and so everything you was putting through it was coming back like crazy. Yeah. 
And and I've been in love with them joints ever since. And, and when I found out like that that uh, FAC was making one, because there's a couple other ones on um on uh, yeah yeah, but I never use them like that. Like Four Pockets got one, which was great. I might have used it a couple yeah. times, but um I threw this FAC. It's like man, yo his yeah. uh, yo, I love like his his apps is, is yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like that joint, that Bandit, it's fire. Yes, yeah. Uh, um, I, and see, I, I I I was watching somebody page um this dude Paco Bravo on um on Instagram yeah uh, and um and he put me onto the fact that uh Bandit actually has reverbs and I ain't know that and so you could have a That's reverb an yeah yeah on on a certain band like mm-hmm. so he was putting the reverb on just on the high band or reverb yeah. only on the mid and I'm like nah this is crazy like like that one is dope <laughs> transient we, like I I, I I got from your video putting transient on um. Drums. I use it on every drum. Nah, you also you was using it on your eight oh eights too. Yeah, yeah, use it and on eight oh eights. I never yeah. even thought about that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Like it, yo, like that the maxima. Forget about it. Maxima. Like, yeah. FA, FAC got he got he yeah got they some got some shit. Yeah. 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 Anybody use the Evolver joint? I haven't used that yet. I don't I think so. I think I got it, but nah. Yeah, I, I have it, but I don't, I don't think. think. Um, I think I've used it. So I think what it is is um, I use it occasionally. I think it's a uh. It's an automatic or gator, or like yeah. That, right? So it, it does mm-hmm. like um like sort of gating effects. I've used try to try to get some type of um like gating effects on like synth and things, but I just use it occasionally, not like on every track. Um, but I had I had to get it just because like when he releases something, I'm just like I'm just getting it. Yeah, you know it's gonna yeah. be <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I find some way to use it. Mm-hmm. You can do gating effects in uh what's it called Beatmaker Three now for that. Yeah. With the uh, with the module with the with the sampler the modulation. Yeah. It's it's definitely a great time to be alive, man. Yeah, man, you just be sitting it, sitting down on the couch just making music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. half the like, price. For half the price. Yeah. Not right. even half yeah. sometimes. Right? I, mean, you know, I remember Maybe. like thinking I needed just two thousand just for the MPC, and that didn't yeah. include the speakers, the MIDI <laughs> keyboard. Yeah, you know, none of that. Yeah, the, the computer. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we talk yeah. about that a lot on this on this podcast. You don't need all the equipment and all mm-hmm. that. Yeah. No, no. no change. You don't need the space. You just yeah, that's right it. There. The space. You, do yeah. you don't need the space. Like shoot, you can just do you it right there on, with a, on the couch, like you said. <laughs> yeah, right there yep. on the couch, bro. Yeah. Right. You, you get busy with an iPod Touch if you got if if if, yep. if, 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 if the right if, if, right if, mindset. If that's all you got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it's, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword, though, because like sometimes, um, since you have all the stuff, it's like so cheap and affordable. Now you have to like be twice as good to um, rise through the top of the pack. cut through. Yeah, yeah. access yeah. is so so easy for the access. Yeah, like, back true. then, so in the nineties, you could kind of like buy your way into the game. So if you bought yeah. like a little mm-hmm. reel, you bought a couple keyboards, you bought an NPC, mm-hmm. and a couple mm-hmm. like pieces. You for, like, had to set up. Yeah, ten grand. Yeah, yeah. You can have everybody at your crib, even if you didn't have talent. And then over that time, if you had like a halfway bit of sense, you could kind of like develop your talent just because people mm-hmm. came to you because you had the equipment. That's right. gone. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can have high end equipment and still kind of do that. But like right now, it's like you can't really count anybody saying, come over to my house, just make a beat. Yeah. Right. yeah. But, yeah. but you but you know what's one the one thing about it though, like with the access though, what happens is that you get you get you you're flooded with a lot of like beginners. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, so, yep, that's, so, yeah. You gotta be twice but, as good to get. You gotta, you gotta be I, twice I, as I good to think, jump over top of those guys. Your talent needs to be better. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think you have to be twice as good because, like, because, like, it, it almost drops, like the stand, like the, like the, the level, like the standard almost gets dropped a bit because, like, if you look at like music now, like, and it's not, it's not to like diss it, but a lot of this stuff is like really, really, really simple, and I yeah. feel like it's because everybody has a platform and mm-hmm. everybody. Everybody has everybody has a platform to be an artist. And everybody has a platform to be a critic. You know what I'm saying? Like hell, that's that's what even what we're benefiting from right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Word. doing this right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like the bar is the bar kind of dropped a little bit. You know what I mean? And because yeah. like yeah. you listen to some of the stuff that comes out, like like like, and this is no diss to like somebody like Soldier Boy and not like that because Soldier Boy, in in an essence, birthed this whole like this whole era we, that, that we kind of end, like the whole internet era, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when you listen back to uh, Soldier Boy, that, when it, oh, when you listen back to that beat, that is the simplest beat ever. Bing, 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 that's it. You know what yeah. I'm yeah. saying? And, OG Mako, man. OG, what's his name? OG Mako? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's so, like the easiest beats I've ever heard. Yeah, you look at those, <laughs> those views on that. When OG Mako came out, I was like, oh man, this is whole, whole, whole <laughs> yeah. game, bro. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, so like now it's like, it's almost like, and it's not saying that the music is not good. It's just saying like, yeah. the musicianship doesn't have to be, you don't have to be like, 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 I, like, I, I can yep. fake on piano, but I can't play the piano. But I know enough theory. To get, yeah. To, to like when I know when I mess up a note, I know. Oh, okay, let, me, let me take that note, drop it down. That that wasn't supposed to be natural. Right that's supposed yeah. to be C. That's supposed to be C sharp. Put that there. Boom. Yeah. Like, this this note is not in that in that in that scale. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. And, and hell, like if you got core gadget, forget about it, man. Core gadget. Yeah. You could um you could turn the you could turn the uh what's that the um the piano roll you could set the piano roll to the key that you mm-hmm. want you know what I mean so yeah. like so like the talent don't have to be there like if you got the right ear and enough drive like you 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 could I mean like the fact these dudes is making beats and they don't touch an actual anything keyboard. yeah they're touching yeah. a qwerty keyboard at times yeah. you know what yeah. I mean like Bounce. It's, yeah, yeah. Mm. it's crazy. It's about entertainment now, more. I say that it's, it's not about yeah. the music; it's more entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all right, well, the fingers. That's a good we video, appreciate man. this. Hey, yeah, for we appreciate. On, yeah, you, you coming bro, on? Thank you all. Yeah. Doing, doing, yeah. um, all these contests. You be the first one to submit <laughs> all the yeah, time. Man. You know, professional. We appreciate yeah, yeah. that so much. And the next one, we we're gonna be giving away some um hardware, some controllers. So Ooh, right, look out yeah. for that. I'm I'm gonna enter even way. So let me appreciate you. Yeah. Gotcha, and, um, gotcha. You. And you'll see some posts before then. I'm, I'm gonna share some music uh online. That's gonna be you checking you out. So let's, oh yeah. Let's get it. Definitely. Yeah, check plug, you plug out. your socials real fast, bro. Um yep. just at the fingers everywhere. D-A-F-I-N-G-A-Z. Um, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, um, Instagram, uh, YouTube, uh, and SoundCloud. Um Dope. I'm not I'm not on TikTok or or Snapchat or any of that. Um I just don't know if I have an audience there yet, but but those are my main, um, really, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube are the, are the main platform. Dope, Perfect. dope. Yeah. All right. And again, we appreciate you coming on. Yep, yep. Thank you. We got to do right. this again, like like every, every uh, maybe once a year, every few months, six months or so. Definitely, it's, definitely. It's You're, always yeah. You're always welcome. Yeah. You're always welcome. Definitely. All right, appreciate right, you man. too, bro. Have a good rest hey. of the week. Who you got on the fight tonight, real quick? Who you got? Um, probably, probably, I want Wilder. It's Wilder Fury. I want Wilder. Going wild, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that right hand coming, that Man, right hand coming. <laughs> I just, I, but I do want a good fight though. So I yeah. want a one round. That first knockout. one was classic. That first yeah. one was classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be a good one. All right, bro. You have a good, right. good weekend. Rest yeah, of the weekend. Y'all too. Y'all enjoy the rest of the weekend. Yeah, All right, bro. Definitely. All right, peace. All right, y'all. Peace.